Hey y'all, welcome back to the kitchen for another episode of What's Cooking with the Bear. And keeping with the holiday theme of Thanksgiving, uh, I'm going to do a side dish. This is, this is going to be roasted Brussels sprouts with Parmesan. Or roasted Parmesan Brussels sprouts, whatever, however you want to call it. Anyways, every holiday I try to make something different, uh, side dish wise. So, went on the internet, looked it up, and there are tons of Brussels sprout recipes. Uh, I was never a big Brussels sprout fan until I tried one that had uh, apple and cranberry in it, which was delicious. So this year I looked up something different, found something different, and so we're going to make it today for y'all. So hang on and we'll show you what we got going on. Alright y'all, here's the basic ingredients, and this is actually a combination of like a half a dozen different recipes that I found that are all basically the similar, but uh, some are the same. Uh, start out with Brussels sprouts. Uh, when I went to the store, I could not find fresh ones. They were all out of them, so I had to get frozen ones. I've never used frozen ones before. Hopefully it turns out. If not, before I actually do my Thanksgiving one. Uh, this is a kind of a test run to make sure it tastes good. But anyways, I will get uh, fresh ones if possible. Picked up some hickory smoked thick cut bacon. Got my Parmesan cheese. Minced garlic. I'm going to use pink Himalayan salt. Coarse ground black pepper. And there's some Italian seasoning sitting off to the side over there that I didn't put in frame because I just didn't. So, sorry. Uh, that's the basic ingredients. So, let me get things set up here and we'll get to cooking. All right, y'all. Uh, gonna start out here. Got like six slices of that thick cut bacon. Uh, I'm gonna slice it up into small little pieces here. I know you guys can't see because you're on the opposite side, but I'm just gonna slice them down. Now, most all the other recipes that I found, besides one, said to use either olive oil or uh, melted butter to coat the uh, Brussels sprouts before you roast them. Uh, I like the idea of the smoky flavor of the bacon so I'm going to render this down and I'm going to use the bacon grease to coat this with or to coat these things with and like I said I'm chopping them up to just make it cook quicker so got me a little frying pan over here I'm going to start and get it rendering down and uh, I'm gonna get the rest of these chop, rest of this chopped up, and get it in the frying pan. We'll get that all cooked down and ready to go, and we'll bring you back when we get ready for the next step. All right, y'all. Hope you can hear me over the bacon frying there. But as that's cooking, I'm gonna prepare my Brussels sprouts now, and it's fairly easy to get them going. All you gotta do is, you know, kind of cut that hard stem off of them. Put them in half like that and put them in the bowl. Now, if they don't have that big a stem on them, you can just leave that on. Uh, some of them have bigger ones than others. And these are still kind of frozen, so. And I know fresh ones would definitely work a lot better. These are feeling a little bit soft, but hey, it is what it is. Got what I got. You know. Uh, you know, like I said, just go along and split them all in half. So I'm gonna continue on with that. I'm gonna do both bags of them. Continue cooking that bacon down, and we'll bring y'all back whenever uh, we get ready for the next step. All right, y'all. While I was cutting these up off camera, uh, I decided to do a small batch just in case, by the odd chance that I may not like them and need to tweak it a little bit. I'm not. You know wasting you know a whole bunch of ingredients and stuff so I decided to just do a small batch um, I got my bacon's all done here I reserved the rendering from it got me a small baking sheet here got my oven ready set up to 400 degrees to, to roast these things on so I'm gonna take you know some of this bacon grease probably a, maybe a tablespoon of it 
put it on the top of there. Got my Italian seasoning here. We're gonna give it a give it a little shake here. Maybe half a tablespoon of that. And then gar minced garlic. I'm gonna guess probably close to a tablespoon of minced garlic on here. And uh it said to use fresh minced garlic, but again, I don't, uh, I don't have any, and I'm not gonna take the time to cut some up. Put a little bit of the pink Himalayan salt in there to taste. Grab my coarse ground restaurant style black pepper, and this is to taste too. So there's that. I'm gonna take a spoon and try to get that. Try to get these Brussels sprouts all coated in that bacon grease and I may end up adding more of the bacon rendering. Yep, yeah, I'm going to add a little bit more of that bacon rendering. Just because it soaked it up pretty decently so. It'll cook off. So, Alright. Them all well coated there. Oh yeah, she's all they're all well coated now, so alright. Well, get my bacon sheet out here. I'm gonna dump these out on here. Try to get all them ingredients in there. Now, in most of the recipes I've seen, it said to put that parmesan in there along with it, but I'm gonna wait. So I'm gonna Bring that out, spread these out, get them all in one layer. Get them kind of separated there a little bit. Alright, I think we got them. I'm going to flip them over. There we go. Flip most of these suckers back over so they're cut side up. That's just my preference. You don't have to do it that way. You can do it however you want. Um, so, a couple more over here. Look at that. Yummy, yummy. So, all right. We got all that. Next, uh, it said to bake for at 400 for 20 minutes. So, I'm going to go ahead and throw those suckers and throw these things in the oven. Set the timer for 20 minutes and get them roasting. We'll bring you back after the 20 minutes is up. All right, y'all. 20 minutes has gone by. Uh, these things are looking absolutely phenomenal, smelling phenomenal. So I'm going to kind of push these things together a little closer because next I'm going to sprinkle them with that bacon. Actually, hmm, I have to taste one. That's delicious. Alright, got them kind of pushed together. I got my bacon here. I'm just going to kind of sprinkle it on there. Best I can. Try to get it all on top of the sprouts. And I did set my broiler because I'm going to put the cheese on it and I'm going to broil them. I think on the uh, next one, I'm going to mix the bacon right in with the. When I'm mixing up the rest of the stuff here, just just so it gets a better coating on the kind of sticks to them a little bit there. So, all right, there's that. Got my Parmesan cheese here. I'm going to give it a healthy coating of the Parmesan. line ones there. Alright, that looks delicious. So, got my broiler going, and you guys are sitting right in front of my oven door, so I can't get underneath there to 
put these in so I'm gonna shut the camera off get them in there get them broiled and we'll bring you all back all right y'all maybe five minutes under that uh, broiler it's got a nice brown color to her and I'm gonna get these things all loosened up from the foil here I'm gonna try to oh yeah look at that oh yeah oh yeah so all right let me a plate here plate these things up goodness over here all right these things are looking fabulous they smell really good so you grab one here oh <laughs> sorry guys that's delicious all right there you have it y'all all right y'all there you go brand new recipe parmesan bacon brussels sprouts i'm gonna try some here again mm. now i think that recipe is a winner Most definitely. Except for maybe I might might put a little bit of onion powder in there. Go along with that garlic. Huh. Don't know. We'll sleep on it and find out. But so there y'all have it. Drink of the day is the brown mood juice, of course. One of my favorites. So alright. There you have it all. Hope you enjoyed that one. That was a kind of a quick one. Uh, trying something new. Uh, open and broaden your horizons, y'all. So, thank you for watching. Remember, like this content. Give it a thumbs up. If you feel like it, go over there and ring that bell. Get all the notifications of everything I do. You also get notifications of the Sunday live stream. Of course, we do it every Sunday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. We talk about cooking. We talk about small engine stuff. We talk about life in general. So, Y'all are welcome. Come on in. Hang out with us. You should do about an hour. Sometimes we go longer. Sometimes we don't. So, anyways, thank you all for watching. And, as always, bear appetite. Catch you on the next one.